It's clear to me that there is a clear and present danger around authentication in our industries. And that's true for small organizations, that's true for very large organizations. There is no reason why an administrative account needs a password alone. It's dangerous and you've got to quit it. What really changed the world for me was hearing the personal stories of people whose accounts have been hacked. In fact, it's actually worse than when someone breaks into your house because you sometimes don't even know what's happening and the effects can be felt for years afterwards. So that moment of panic is something that really motivates me and my team to try to keep everyone across the planet as safe as we possibly can. We as defenders are up against dedicated human adversaries who work in long-term campaigns against us. It's their job, and so it's not reasonable to expect 100% of your employees who are trying to do their jobs to simultaneously try to thwart the attacks of these other people who are working against them. They're trying to break in. FIDO has fundamentally changed the nature of user authentication. From an outdated model that's based on knowledge-based authentication or shared secrets, such as passwords, to a model that's more possession-based, where you can literally use a device in your hands, whether it's a mobile device or a security key, to authenticate locally to that device and securely log into and access online services. At Microsoft, we log in 90 billion authentication requests every single day. 50 million of those are attacks, and as soon as you have any kind of FIDO, you are not part of that metric. When we talk about the passwordless future, I get really excited. If we get it right, authentication becomes a much, much smaller part of everyone's day. You don't have to worry about remembering those passwords. You can simply use the hardware you have and let your hardware talk on your behalf. One of the really cool things that FIDO is doing fundamentally is consumerizing advanced authentication technology. All right, so what FIDO uses is an approach called asymmetric public key cryptography. No one should have to know what that means, let alone say it, to log into services. Instead, it's all built into a simple device like this one, where all you need to do is touch this device to prove that you're in possession of it to securely log into services. And whether it's a security key like this, or a laptop, or a mobile phone, all of these have built in FIDO authentication. What's great about FIDO is it flips from a human weakness to a machine's strength. There really is only one system that is widely available for consumers and enterprises that is going to reduce the chances of phishing to near zero, and that is FIDO authentication. And that's why I'm so passionate about it. That's why we rolled it out at the DNC and other organizations. Um, there really is no second alternative.